In case you see this error on your WordPress website, there has been a critical error on this website, or in some cases it can say there has been a critical error on this website. Please check your site admin email inbox for instructions. Okay, how to solve this issue? Very simple. In most of the cases, guys, you will receive an email something like this. There's a WordPress inbuilt feature which detects when a plugin or theme causes fatal error on your site, and then you receive this email, and you also receive this notice. In this case, WordPress guard an error with one of your plugins, which is secure website content. So I know now that there's a plugin website, which is secure website content, which is making this error. And sometimes what happens when you update or install new plugin, or in case if you install a new theme or you upgrade a theme, and then you see this critical error. In that case of theme update or new install, you will also receive this information that this plugin or theme is creating this error. And then there will be some general information over your website, like what WordPress version it is, what is the active theme, what is the current plugin, and what is the current PHP version. And also if you want to be more touchy, you can see the error detail completely here. You can see here error detail as there's error of e pass cause on line 11, because I made this error on my website to make this video. In your case, you have some different error. So now we have two ways. If you are admin, you receive this email what you can do, click on this link and come to a special recovery mode. You can see how the recovery mode initialized. Please log in. To continue, you need to enter your username or email and password. Make sure guys, this is the recovery mode. If you're trying to access the WordPress admin without recovery mode, you will not see this page because there is a special recovery mode option present in WordPress. So once you log in inside WordPress and parallel via recovery mode, now you can see option exit recovery mode and then this message. Here one or more plug insurance failed to load properly and then go to plugin screen and then see this plugin is causing the problem. Now what? I will just deactivate this plugin. I'll go back to my website. And now if I refresh the website, you see my website is loading again. So these are the method for the people who has their access to admin emails. In case you have admin email and you're facing this critical error on this website, issue what you can do. Now you need to log into website cPanel and find this file oconfig.php right click on this file and click on edit now. At the end of this file or somewhere in the middle, you'll find this option WP underscore debug it will by default set to false, which change this to true, and then click on save changes, and when I refresh page, which is saying there has been a critical error on this website. We have more information here, because what we did, we went to wconfig file, and we enabled the debug mode. So now, because you do not have access to admin email, but you want to know which plugin or which broke your website, or what is happening with your website, Guys, this is general instruction to troubleshoot any kind of issue. You need to change WPD bug mode to true and here this is the error. Now you can see this is the error and this is the file where this error is happening. You can see here it is happening with the plugin. You can see plugin secure website content doc.php. This is the name of the plugin and this is file inside which is causing that error. In case of a theme, you will see here W content themes and then you'll see the name of the theme. And don't worry about these two things. They're notices. They're not making critical error on your website. This is the critical error on your website. Now you know which plugin or theme is causing this issue. Go back to your cPanel and inside file manager, go inside out the content folder and then go to plugins. And then see, I have this plugin secure website content and here I'll match the name secure website content. So now I know this plugin is causing this error. So I will select this plugin, right click and click on rename and I will say something like back or you can give any name and click on rename. It will deactivate that plugin which caused error. And now if I refresh the page, you see my website is back again. In case this error happened because of theme, go back to WordPress, there will be content folder and then go to themes and then deactivate which is causing the error. This is the same method like detecting plugin. You can also know which theme is breaking website. And guys, if this video solves your issue, don't like the video and subscribe the channel. These videos take a lot of time to create. I'll be really happy to know that this solves your issue and you learned something new today. So I really appreciate if you hit that like and subscribe button.